Hello everyone, this is Devin here at Boldly. Welcome to another episode of The Good News where we go live answering questions that you have submitted to our team. Um, I have a great question here today. I'm gonna share it with you in just a second. But before I do, I wanna give you a little bit of a backstory. So this question is derived from our company values. And if you go to our website, boldly.com, you go to the About Us section, you'll see all of our company values there. One of them is everyone wins. And that is where this question is coming from. The question is, I don't understand how everyone can win all the time. For there to be a winner, doesn't there have to be a loser? And I think that this is just such a great question because often when we think of winning, we think of the other side of that, we think of losing. But for Boldly, when we use the terminology win-win, our goal is really to create a business that is beneficial for everyone. We don't think of winning as in winning a game. So there's not a team of winners and a team of losers. Uh, we are thinking of win-win in the term of it is equally rewarding for everyone involved. We're creating partnerships where everyone is rewarded. Losers aren't even on the table. Uh, we have team members who are working and supporting their clients doing work that they love. And then we have clients who are getting phenomenal support to help them move their business forward. So it's a rewarding win-win for both parties. And there is no loser. And we really started this back in 2012 when our company was first born. And it has really been at the forefront of all of our decision-making as a business. We have kept this concept underlying all of our business decisions. Now, we have a lot of mothers and military spouses on our team. I am a mother and a military spouse. And we have found that during a time when remote work was a little bit unheard of back in 2012 and maybe even frowned upon, there was really this need for many people to have remote work, the mothers, the military spouses, the caregivers. And um, it wasn't just a nice to have, it was, there was a real need for it. And as a mom and a military spouse, I am able to contribute to my household financially, but I'm also um, able to be there for everything, for all of the family matters. I can attend all of the school things and the promotions and all the things that I need to be part of. And then from a client perspective, we have what we call fractional support. And this is that clients sometimes aren't just looking for full-time employees. Sometimes they don't even need a part-time employee. What they need is a talented person that they can trust who can perform responsible tasks, maybe for 10 hours a week. And that is where this synergy really develops, where we created the win-win the concept. It's a win for both parties involved. So let's talk a little bit about how this works. Um, it starts by thoroughly screening our applicants and our clients. We screen both sides. We're looking for people who share our company values, people who are positive and kind, and they're gonna help build our company culture and create a wonderful environment to work at. Uh, on the team side, our team works really hard. <laughs> we also, we pay attention to detail. We take responsibility, but we also have a lot of fun. If you saw my last episode of The Good News, you heard a little bit about some of that fun that we have. We have a lot of fun. We get to work remotely. We get to work flexibly. There are tons of benefits and we get to support amazing clients. Now, our clients, I get questions all the time about the types of clients that we support. And I just have to say that our clients are the most amazing businesses and people. I love every client that I've ever met. They're genuinely the best people and they are running these amazing businesses. We are supporting entrepreneurs, business owners, executives, looking to propel their business to the next step, to the next, uh, move them forward. So after we do the screening process, then we do a matching process. And our matching process, uh, another question I get sometimes is if we use a technology algorithm and we do not use a technology algorithm, it is people who do the matching. It's people that get to know people. And we know all of our clients really well and we know all of our team members really well. So that when we have a client come through with an opportunity, we're able to provide a match based on personality and availability, skill, experience. We provide a match who we think would be the best fit for the client and then the magic really happens. The next step is the client and the team member gets to meet. So they meet together and then they get to choose whether or not they wanna work with one another. This really helps, um, providing this choice really helps inspire our team members. They feel involved in the process. And then also, same on our clients. Our clients know that they're gonna get amazing support that's gonna be a good fit for their company. And it really helps create that long-term partnership. 
Our team on average supports clients for two to three years, and we have team members who've been supporting clients for much longer than that. So if you would like more information on this, uh, learning more about how our clients and our teams work together and how it's a win-win for everyone involved, I want to direct you to our podcast. We have, if you go to Boldly's website, boldly.com again, and under the four businesses side, you will see a section where there are customer stories and we have a whole podcast series where you can see clients who are supporting, um, team members who are supporting their clients and a little bit about what that relationship looks like. All right, well, thank you all for joining me today and I will be back next month answering another question that you have submitted.